baby, baby. Animal Crossing has a surprise update and we gotta explore. I didn't even think this was gonna happen, so I've got a hat on. My hair isn't ready, but AC waits for nobody. So what's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Hope you're all having a lovely start to your week here. We're gonna dive in and see if they've been listening to us. And what's gonna be really interesting to see is did they fix the Halloween additions? Were those new Halloween DIYing items truly a trick? Or were they supposed to be a treat? All that coming right now in version 1.11.1. I didn't think it would happen so soon, but Nintendo is making moves, and I wonder if they have fixed some of the issues plaguing this game. If you didn't see, on Sunday I made a video talking about some of the bugs and glitches that were plaguing the game. There were a bunch of them that happened because of version 1.11. Things like Harv's Island was a mess. Things like Nook's Cranny was a mess. Things like DIY recipes were changed, and things like your DIY list were sorted all strange. So we're going to dive in. Isabel, what'd they add? Let me know what you think of the update in the comments down below and smash that like button for late night surprise AC goodness. And the first thing we need to figure out is did they fix my friend Harv, the yoga sensei himself with the most important island in the game. I kind of feel like I'm Intent talk with this hat on like this. It's very strange. I haven't worn one in a video in forever. There is my red drink machine that does not belong there because I don't have the red drink machine. If you didn't pay attention uh, or know, there was a video where I talked about Harv's Island was kind of glitched because they had you uh, putting in all sorts of items that you don't really own. So we're going to see if the, uh, the dr okay, the drink machine's been fixed. So this has been patched. All right, look, I previously just had the red even though I didn't, like, what I'm trying to say is I have the green and the blue, but Harv's Island was showing up the red, you can see right there. So they fixed this. It was a glitch where it was only giving you a weird default colorway and not the variants that you actually own. And we can check and confirm this by going to simple panel. Drink machine has been fixed. And let's get all the way down to the S's. Um, that's the P's. That's the puppies. Miss those puppies. Toy Day is going to be great this year. Um, and then our simple panel is right here. Yep, these are the varieties I have, the golden ones. But as you can see, Harv's Island, before this 1.11.1 update, thought I had the gray slash white simple panels and the red drink machine. All right, so that has been patched. Good to know. KK just got a new memory card and he's feeling groovy today. KK's playing his banjo guitar because he chose the Lexar Play. You can get one, two, if your Switch is feeling blue. Or if your Switch is actually blue, they come in lots of sizes too. I'm off tune. I have no vocal ability. But Lexar are fantastic folks. And if you click the link in the description down below, it helps support Switch Force. And you can get a memory card to store your games. It's the best. It's the fastest. It's the one I recommend. And I'll sing with KK till the very end. So click the link in the description down below for the Lexar play card. Now you know. Soon we got to see if they took out the Halloween items or if those are still in there. A lot of people thought it was a mistake when 1.11 came out. I thought it was purposeful. We'll find out Nintendo's true intent. But let's also check our DIY recipes. Previously, this sorted poorly. Now it's sorting alphabetical. And now it's sorting by obtained. And let's see at the top of the list, did they fix it? It should be my Halloween DIY. Okay, so they fixed this. Now, two for two. Two of the things we talked about in the last video of oopsies have now been course corrected. You can see my spooky lantern, my spooky tree, my bamboo bench, and my stall and my orange rug are the five most recent DIY. Previously, this list was not sorting. Everything was just out of order, and it was going by some strange system that I didn't quite understand. It was just going by this list here, just like the most basic items first and kind of down the list. But they have patched this. Now we're on the trail of Nook's Cranny to see if they have fixed the fact that the beautiful orchestral soundtrack at closing time was not appearing. And no, I'm not talking about closing time by Andy Bernard when he becomes a psychopath on The Office. I'm talking about this lovely closing time song that should be in here if Nintendo did the fix. It's 9.50. Oh. Music to my ears. A beautiful serenade to me. Tell me, my friends. Oh yes, the music, it's so sweet, it's so lovely, it's so pure, and it's back. It really feels like Nintendo watched my video, because I made this yesterday, and now they're making it all better today. Well, let me take this time to tell you that they did not fix 
the DIY cards that can no longer come back with you to the island because that was intentional. Nintendo did mean to make it so you cannot bring an obtainable DIY back with you. So things like the trash bag, things like the bunny day outfits, those cannot be taken. They can be learned in another island, but they cannot be in card form taken back with you. So that was purposeful. And uh, now it's time to find out if they really were per oh, really were purposeful. I love this song with the Halloween items. So we are going to time travel to October and see if Timmy and Tommy still have the Halloween goodies out. Because if they do, we'll know that Nintendo meant to give us this greatness. They meant to say, hello, the spooky moon strikes early in 2021. Let's see if they've decided to keep in the fun. My island has got that fall glow and we're going to go find out what happened. I also want to let you know that they patched a weird bug that I didn't even know about where clouds were failing to appear during certain seasons for some players. So I can't really replicate that because I don't believe it was affecting me. Um, but apparently the clouds have been put back in the sky, which is a good thing, I guess, right? Can't be a bad thing. Let's see any of those spooky kooky items waiting for us. The new ones, not the old ones. <gasps> it's there, right? This is the right thing. Spooky Lantern. Okay, so they're still in the game. So it was on purpose. Nintendo did mean to descend some holiday cheer onto us in August. They brought them on purpose because they had a chance in this patch to erase, and they chose not to. These items are still purchasable from Timmy and Tommy, and the DIY are still in the game. So this definitely tells us that Nintendo, they really wanted to bring Halloween early, which makes you wonder, what do they have planned for actual fall? I have to imagine it is that fun update we've been waiting for with our feathered friend, but we don't need to talk about the cafe or Brewster today. Just the fact that they made a nice little adjustment to the game, fixing the Harv's Island problem, fixing the sortable DIY problem, fixing Nook's cranny terrible silence problem, and confirming to all of us once and for all that those Halloween items were on purpose. So that is what we've got in Animal Crossing 1.11.1. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you glad they made these fixes? And are you happy? Do you feel good that Nintendo confirmed this was on purpose? Or were you hoping it was a mistake? Because now you're one of those people that believe they don't actually have anything till after Halloween. I really think they do. To me, it would just be absolutely ridiculous for them to wait until November to drop substantial new content. Especially after all the messaging they've been putting forth saying, Hey, be patient, we're working on cool stuff. And then the data mines, if you've paid attention to those, show that they really are seeming to work on big stuff. So I don't think that we'll have to wait till beyond Halloween. I think that Halloween will just be a part of the next update and we'll receive it sometime in September, feels about right. It could even be tied to the Nintendo Direct presentation that usually airs every year in September. That is where I'd expect it. I absolutely do not think you're going to have to wait until Turkey Day. We'll have to wait and see, but let me know your take in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. I got you covered. Whenever anything happens ACNH related, I'm here. Switch Force is your home. And we're a family, so thanks so much for being a part of this thing. Make sure to stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. And until next time, guys and girls, I love you a lot. Switch Force, out.